What's up YouTube, Kyron back up in here with another video and today we have a pickups video. Haven't done a little video in a minute. I feel like I needed a little break. I was getting a bit of burnout, but honestly, quite the time to honestly want to do a little break because I'm going to hop into a semi other one right now because it's holiday season. Only about a week though, so not too crazy, but well needed, well overdue. Definitely take this time to spend some time with your family uh just as a little sidebar side quest but all that to say we have some gems in this video i've definitely been accumulating quite a few amount of things post miami while in miami a whole lot of that so that's exactly what you guys are going to see in this video first thing that i got in miami is going to be the first thing that i'm going to show you right now along with a whole bunch of other goodies in this so you're going to have some some emerging brands some designer some stuff in the middle let's get straight into the first pickup i'm gonna start with tops this is a chrome parts bag that is destroyed to hell me trying to preserve the packaging for you guys for a video but that's what i get <laughs> while traveling so cool little em embossed moment on the bag one thing i will say shopping chrome hearts is kind of difficult now like they really don't have much in the stores or at least in the miami store new york store is definitely the best one so far that i've been to in my personal experience but yeah i would say new york and then like maybe las vegas or something like that but definitely the miami one was a little bit underwhelming in terms of the product that they have Ser service is okay and that's all i gotta say really price wasn't too crazy on this piece this was about 200 usd which is maybe a lot to some but for me i've been looking for this four minutes not something that's hard to find but i wanted a fresh one and having them in stock isn't too common i'm gonna crack into this freshly wrapped get into that and we got a tank top finally got one of these bad boys this is how it's like all wrapped up Get into this and we went with a size medium little scroll banner whatever you want to call it the crest logo very classic straight to the point it has a little fu on the side rib cage but yeah can't get enough of tanks and i feel like a chrome one just makes it a bit elevated something different from your standard tank top so i'm definitely going to be enjoying this moment right here very nice one maybe a bit pricey for a tank top some would say but one of my favorite layering pieces is tank top tank top so i don't really mind shelling it out on something that i enjoy so here you go next up excuse the wrinklage this was just thrown into the pickups pile so excuse the wrinkles like i said before got this apex twin shirt this is from the official shop actually uh, my boy James Days told me about this restock that they were doing on a bunch of like Apex Twin merch that's official and the quality seems pretty good. It doesn't feel merchy, it actually feels pretty substantial and soft. So I'm a great fan of it. Just classic, straight to the point, nothing to see here really. And I feel like there's so many like reprints and shit. I just wanted to actually have an official one. I have a black one that's a reprint, but it was made from a friend. So it feels like a bit more sentimental and it's like, exactly the type of measurements that I like. And that's why I like wearing that one. But for this one to have an original one is super sick. And I was impressed by the quality, like I said before. So nothing to see here. Very casual, straight to the point. Simple things, both of them, simple black and white, come on. Speaking of black and white, same ordeal here. We have this fleece jacket from Undercover and the North Face. This is a collaboration that happened between these two. Good little winter piece right here. Cannot go wrong. Uh, I love whenever North Face has these little patches on the side of their jackets. This one's a bit more understated because there's no like big the North Face on the side. Good little arm pocket. And yeah, a good little polar fleece will always serve you right in the winter. I like that this is like the only little like North Face branding at the bottom here. It's rubberized kind of. And yeah, undercover, always good, like low key, low vibe. Back has a little pocket too, which is interesting as well. And you can unzip the sleeves and turn it into a vest if you wish, but that's probably a bit too dad core for me. But all that to say, great piece. They were, uh, the North Face team was kind enough to send this to me. So very grateful for that one. And we're going to continue on to bottoms now, I believe. So one of my favorites and the one that's coming up is a pretty crazy one. So let's get into it. Alrighty. So we're here. We're ready to rumble. We got another pair. You guessed it. Balenciaga denim. I cannot get enough of these. And funny thing is with these, I had these ordered 
before I left for Miami and my boy CJ just got them, I think either on that trip or right before as well. So we both got the same pant, um, but I mean, that's pretty common with people that have similar silhouettes and like enjoy the same type of fashion. Fire pair of pants. These are just the distressed baggy mid wash denim, I would say. Love these. I think these ones are made in Italy. Normally the denims are either made in Italy or made in Japan. My last pair that I just got recently was made, oh, this one's made in Japan. I think the other one that I have is made in Italy. If you guys want the style code and all that, that's what this is right here. But yeah, ended up getting these in a size large. Definitely maybe could have went for a medium, but you guys know me, I'm, I, I'm obsessed with baggy pants right now. So like the logic I have the pants, I don't, I don't really mind. So it's obviously not showing them so justice on camera right now because can't even get them all into frame, but it has really cool heel bite already built into the pant on both sides. Actually, no, just on one. Yeah, on both sides. Uh, so it's just thrashed all over. The front is like really what sets you off, like both on the knee and then the top slit right here, which will get larger and larger over time. Also has waist adjusters. So like if you want it to perfectly fall at your, your hip for the low waisted action, it'll work for you. But these are insane. The quality is fantastic and I love the fit. That's kind of what sells you on Balenciaga denim. You guys know how I praise Balenci denim, honestly. So uh, you don't have to hear me yap about it consistently over and over again. So yeah, that's enough of those beautiful piece super grateful uh this was a gift so very very grateful shout out to the farfetch team for allowing me to scoop these so let's get into it continuing with the blessings they just don't stop really this is a crazy one because i remember growing up and seeing this brand kind of come to life as i've grown into fashion they've grown as well beautiful to have seen their show in paris for the first time when i went to paris fashion week in june i want to say but yeah went to their first actual on calendar fashion show which was beautiful and they were kind enough to send me a little gift shout out to emmerich and the whole team over at trois paradis this is a i want to say like a parisian brand but also a montreal brand because emmerich uh was also living out here for a good amount of time so that's how i ended up connecting with them um so yeah beautiful really nice for them to even think of sending me anything so i appreciate them common thing with them is this dove or swan whatever you want to call it this bird motif all over their pieces it makes things very like elegant and rich which i'm a really big fan of super dainty birds on the piece and then also I like the the tag branding that they do right here like this rubberized little hang tag really cool every detail is like super thought out there you go and then, yeah and in the back pockets it looks like there's torn away pockets but it's actually still functional which is a blessing I hate when there's no fun functional pockets uh other detail those birds follow on to the rivets I want to say that's the proper term for them but yeah nice dark wash pair of carpenter pants have the like hammer loop and all that on the side here to keep it tactical but at the front they have the birds flying away which is really cool so great fit on them released hem as well even get into that but yeah lots of detail on these super grateful for emmerich to have sent these my way uh or whoever else on the team that had any part in doing that so like i said before very grateful we we'll get into that stuff all righty we're gonna keep it going with the pants. Pants are the funnest thing to get in because that's what I built a lot of outfits on in modern days, just a good pair of pants. So here we have Atelier Gallery. They were kind enough to send me one of their new releases. And you know what? They make some good pants, all right? Personalized bag, very nice touch, by the way. Really appreciate them doing that little gesture. And these are super sick. Love these. These are wide as hell, of course, as usual. You guys know how I go with the baggy pants and that's how they that's how they pull up as well. They're baggy pants kings over there at Atelier Gallery. So if you're looking for some interesting wide cut bottoms, they definitely got you sorted. Love that logo right there. Very professional looking. And the like wooden-esque buttons really makes it kind of like this bohemian type of style. I don't know if that's what they would interpret it as, but that's kind of how I'm taking it in. The white contrast st stitching really sets it off to kind of makes it pop a bit more than just brown on brown. Uh, I'm gonna button all these up so that everything is consistent. And yeah, man, just a really nice uh, material, very soft to the touch. Uh, and you can kind of dress these up, dress these down, really nice winter uh, and holiday festive type of pant. I might actually bring these to Toronto personally because I, I'm a big fan of how these look and I think like that brown tone really goes good for just like a, a little Christmas vibe you know why not you know I think this could be cool I might I might have to bring these to Toronto 
because I'm going there to spend some time with the family and this could be a nice little fit to get off when I'm on some cozy vibes. And next up, keeping it in the family, Everett and Owen are like this. So if they're like this, I'm like this, twizzy up. Somar sent me these beautiful trousers right here. These are the Ahab denim. I believe that's what he's calling them. Love whenever people mix leather and actual textiles together in a piece, especially with bottoms. And that's exactly what they did with this piece right here. So we have a wide cut raw denim with leather accents at the waist and then also on the back pockets right here really sets it off makes it so elevated a nice cheeky little detail that sets it off in all the right ways possible i find this like just so chic not doing too much but doing like the right amount you know what i mean like really nice details with the pocket easy access to whatever you gotta put in there uh the leather is super soft and very luxurious the hardware details are crazy the cut you guys know me a good baggy pack goes a long way and the leg opening is hitting with this one uh definitely gonna have some drag for sure and then also got the somar little dip oh see how the light hit that crazy owen kind of went stupid with these not kind of he did <laughs> you know he went he went absolutely ballistic with this piece this is probably next to the geiger jacket like probably his nicest piece that he's made he just keeps on getting better and better which is crazy like all the team is just doing phenomenal stuff always impressed to see what people are chefing up with their personal brands so shout out to owen really appreciate these i might have to bring these to toronto as well but i don't know if i might be getting too fly for the holidays you know i might have to take, take it easy take it easy chill all right, and we're gonna end the video off with some like miscellaneous items. This is gonna be like accessories, apothecary, whatever you wanna call it. That's exactly what we're gonna have right here. Uh, starting it off with some hats, very calm. Uh, this is something that's really cool. I'm a big fan of restaurant merch. Me and my friend Kyle are uh, super ecstatic about like collecting restaurant merch from places that we really fancy. And this is restaurant merch from this restaurant called Mont Lapin, which is actually rated the number one restaurant in all of Canada. Uh, and rightfully so, it's like incredible. We had it even before they had the rating and it blew us away. And after they got the rating, like now you literally can't get a reservation ever. Like you literally have to be on the notify me list on resi and just pray that you're gonna get something and we ate there not too long ago and they just dropped these hats and it's literally like to the quality and the make of like some type of designer brands personally so they really do care about every aspect of their establishment which is really cool and yeah mole that bow on the back super sick honestly can't go wrong it's kind of like simple hat but like when you wear stuff like this out and about it's cool because it, especially when you're traveling people are gonna be like oh what is that and then the act of you have to go to experience this restaurant in order to like get something like this instead of just like hopping online and buying it kind of makes it a bit more special you remember the experience a bit more so i like stuff like this definitely cool continuing on to some pieces from st woods so shout out to st woods they were the life of the party all through miami really appreciate everything that they always do community wise they set it off and also with clothing they go crazy they were kind enough to give me some items from uh, some previous collections and some recent collections as well. So they were nice enough to gift me this fitted. They make really sick fitted, fantastic embroidery all the way around, contrast stitching. This kind of gives you some reference to like old fitteds back in the early 2000s, etc. cetera. Uh, so I'm a big fan of this joint right here. Love the contrast stitching. The SW on the back, white it out on the new era. And you have all these stamps on the inside, makes it official tissue for sure. Uh, I'm normally seven and five eighths, I wanna say. The only thing they had left was a seven and three fourths. It works. I'm not gonna complain, of course, but yeah, this is a great one. Really enjoy the new era caps. They just like, they, they bring you to a certain place. They bring you to a certain place. They're very nostalgic. I like them. And on the same topic of St. Woods, they made this really cool, whoa, don't need to break that right now. Uh, they made this amazing ashtray, which I'm gonna put in the living room. It's just very Parisian. It reminds you of like a Parisian uh, cafe. Like if you're like posted up outside, you're probably eating some type of, uh, some type of, Bistro cuisine of sorts in Paris, and you have a cigarette and a croissant and a, and a cafe, uh, quelque chose, uh, you know? Nice, really good one. I like this a lot. I think they did this for the Paris pop up, so this was a good one. Really, I'm a big fan of this. So, oh wait, what's going on with here? <laughs> That's sick. I didn't even beat that. That's fucking jokes. See? 
the comedy aspect of St. Woods, really good. This actually got me. I, I, I did not know that was there. Very jokes. And the last thing for this pickups video, we got a crazy ass hat. This kind of giving chaotic, but at the same time, interesting. Uh, I tried to wear it once. I did wear it once, only for a few hours though, but it gives a lot of energy and attention. So you have to be ready to brave that when you're wearing this. Uh, I'm gonna pop up on the screen, the homie that was kind enough to gift me this when I was in Miami. Uh, we went to this pop-up and I believe he was just there and he had some extras on him and he wanted to give me one. So very grateful for this hat. It is crazy. Lots of like little details right there. It's like shaggy base is orange and then the, the frosted tips go lighter. Well, I guess like you would say that's like a coral, corally orange, but yeah, wild color, super out there, cool for outfits and stuff. But this is, if this is not your thing, I totally get it. It's very outlandish for sure. <laughs> Can't believe I almost forgot this. I just got this in yesterday. So forgive me it was on the counter but yeah essence was kind enough to send me a little gift this is from their xx collaboration i want to say also like a, a cheeky little holiday gift at the same time uh but like i think essence was doing a collab with 20 different designers that they carry on the uh on the shop and this was one of the collaborations that they did with solomon so this is not only an Essence exclusive, but like fully a collab between Essence and Solomon. I haven't gotten an, XC, an XT6 in quite some time and I really love this colorway. I don't know why it reminds me a lot of those Action Bronson um, New Balances, but definitely something that Bronsolino would wear on some fuck that fuck that delicious type vibe. Feel like I gotta get some good eats and vino in with these for sure. Might have to pack these to Paris. But yeah, these are a crazy one. Really love the colorway on them. Just, just like very vibrant, but they work together. It's like very toned down on the top and then vibrant on the bottom. And then you guys know how it goes with like the little rainbow situation on the drop down. But yeah, insane shoes. Very grateful. In essence, you know, this is Hometown Heroes right here. So I really appreciate them. Always look out, looking out when they can. Um, so yeah beautiful always appreciative of gifts like this means the world it just means like that things are just getting reciprocated you know what i mean you put out good energy you get good energy that's how it always goes love that all right we're gonna wrap it up with two things apothecary section this was a funny little scoop okay so i walked into the webster in toronto when i was there in november i want to say and it smelt insane in the webster insane like immediately as soon as i walked in i was like what is that like what what's making that smell because i need that right now and they're like oh it's one of our, our house scents it's something that we make and it's the most popular one unfortunately and they were sold out they didn't even have it at the toronto locations so i was like okay of course i want something that i can't have and and when I went to Miami, which is actually home of the Webster, went to one of their locations and they had one more win W. So this candle, if you ever have a chance to pick it up, highly recommend. This, oh, I'm so excited. I, I want all the rest of my candles to burn to the to the core so I can light this. This is gonna be crack, crack. I'm so excited. I know I'm getting geeked over a candle, but this is actually like, you guys gotta don't sleep don't sleep if they had a if they had a fragrance of that would be they gotta make that 100 percent, 1000 percent. speaking of fragrances i'm spoiled as hell i still don't get how this is even a thing but the labo super gracious for them to even send me stuff like this is like insane to me still to this day had to get the pick in there real quick for the story. Love when they use the full name. The, per the personalization is always a really nice touch. And I'm gonna use a wine key to open it up because that's the only thing I have here with a sharp edge. So yeah, like I said before, personalization is right here. Has my name. Kind of work the full joint right there. And it was bottled in New York, funny enough, because I think they were having some issues uh, importing stuff from the Toronto one. I don't know. It was getting a little complex though, that's what I do know. So I was supposed to get this a couple months ago and I just got it now, but anytime's a good time for some little Labo. I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it. So this is actually one of their newest fragrances that they just added to the line and it's lavender based, I believe. Got the little Merci in here, boom. Open this up and bow. Wow, 
So sick, amazing. So we got this new lavender joint. I'm just gonna spray it to spray it. I really don't care. Gotta, gotta see what that smell like. I already kind of cheated. Yeah. It's definitely like more on the feminine side, but I don't really mind it. This is good for the daytime, you know? You can also wear it into the night too, but this is a nice, very fresh, very fragrant, powdery, which is something that I like. You guys know I, I gravitate towards a lot of powdery notes, but yeah, man, just very clean. You just smell like very fresh, clean, exactly what you want. That's kind of what I like projecting too. Besides sometimes like when I get into like the musky fragrances and stuff, but it projects a lot, honestly. I'm very surprised. That's just one spray. And I'm like over here and I still smell it. So that's really good. W, the new fragrance is fire. Definitely check this out if you guys haven't already. Uh, new Lo Labo, gang, amazing. I'm honestly beyond spoiled. Everything that was gifted in here is like, still blows my mind. Like the Balenci, the Lolabo, like all this, like don't think it goes over my head. I know how privileged I am and I'm really grateful. Like that I've gone to this point where I've spent insane amounts of money on clothes and stuff like that over the years. And then now it kind of goes a full circle moment where you're like getting that reciprocation back after like investing so much into the things that you love. So it's kind of beautiful to look at things in that type of way. So I am over the moon about everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Sorry, it was a lengthy one, but you know, I had to get chatty with you guys. It's been a minute since I've done one of these. So I had to be on top of it. This is smelling amazing. It's getting better, but I keep on I'm like, damn, I smell like this. I'm, I wear that today. I wear that today. That's crazy. That might be my favorite Lolabo scent right now. Like I only sprayed one it's like, it's going, it's going right now. Might be onto something. I might, might've just cooked, might've just cooked only two, like one spray and we're going like that. Come on. Anyway, sorry, I got sidetracked. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching the channel once again. Uh, my name is Kyron, of course. If you guys have watched this far, make sure to sub if you haven't already liked the video as well. It helps a lot with the algorithm. And follow the boy on Instagram, G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E is where you can keep up to date with me more frequently. I post fit pics, this and that. So that's what you can check out on there. S-W-E-I-G-E -E is my TikTok. I hope I said that correctly. S-W-E-I-G-E, -E, Swage on TikTok. I'm, I'm going crazy on there. I'm trying to at least, so definitely go tap in with me over there and more videos to come. I hope. Sorry for the lack of uploads. I kind of needed that break. And now we're here. Peace.